So now in this video, we're going to look at uh, this connector right here. So there's a slot right here for this blade to fit in. And actually, the first time I did this, this was filled in with plastic. I didn't notice it until I uh, uh, crimped it. But uh, it appears to be the only uh, connector I have that is filled in with plastic right there. But in any case, we can measure the uh, resistance really quick here. And uh, multimeter set to measure resistance. And we will connect the probes to each side. And as you can see, we got about 0.4 ohms of resistance right there. Now, I'll grab the uh, blade right here and just plug it in like that. Now we can test the resistance from there to there. And you can see 0.4 ohms of resistance, those two points, and we can come down to these two points here, should be the same resistance right there, 0.3 ohms of resistance. And of course, we can just unplug this whenever we want. So now I have a few spools of this 22 gauge wire. So this is actually the smallest wire that this kit will look at can handle. There's a little blade under there. With this tool here I can snip it like that. It's a snip and strip tool and then we can just strip the uh, insulation off like that. Pretty uh, straightforward right there. So now here's the kit that I got these out of and there's 240 pieces in here which uh, that's what the advertisement said but oddly enough it's the same price the uh, at least the seller that I bought it from as 120 pieces so I'm uh, glad that it actually lived up to that instead of being a misprint or something but in case as you can see here the uh, red clips that we're using is for 22 to 18 wire gauge so 22 is smaller and uh, the uh, yellow ones for 12 American wire gauge I think I do have some uh, 16 gauge stranded wire so maybe I'll try that with the uh, blue one later on. And they do have some uh, directions here on the box. The box is, uh, these got snaps. They don't really come off unless you press down on them. And I think you could see from behind uh, or through the plastic there. Press down and that gives you room. So you don't have to press down terribly hard. But I'm finding I have to do this or it's a... Uh, very hard to get them to unsnap and uh, there we go there's all the parts so now this is what it looks like up close there's a little slot in there that the wire will be squeezed into and then that is where the blade comes and make sure you look through there that that's not sealed up again I've only had one that was sealed up oddly enough the first one I used there is the uh, blade right there for that connector so now I just set the uh, wire on there and I'm not going to be able to squeeze it with uh, just my fingers here so that's why I got the uh, pliers and uh, let's center that a little bit better. There we go and so there's a couple grip points here if the plier doesn't open enough so there's a little notch there and I find just kind of working my way there we made progress and I just keep working my way up there and uh, it will lock into place. There's a little uh, plastic piece that butts out right there when it is fully in place. So now I have a new crimping tool and this will only be the second time that I crimped uh, one of these so I'm going to try putting it in this way. Last time I put it in the other way but as I said before we're going to be using uh, 22 gauge wire and uh, so you can see 22 gauge there it is ratcheting so it's kind of locking into a place right now there is a release lever here if uh, need be I'll show you that really quick but in any case there we go we can ratchet it down to help hold it into a place and on the other side you can see that we got the uh, red button right there to let us know that it's for the uh, red connectors so now you can see the uh, hole right there we'll just put the wire in and make sure that we're not crimping down any of the plastic right there plastic insulation so I'll I think you can see the wire in there not quite to this edge of the blade there let's go about halfway now I'll squeeze down on this 
and uh, there we go. I had to squeeze pretty hard. Yeah, now I got it all the way. And we will check our connection right there. And pretty good. I'm pulling uh, pretty hard there. So here's the crimping tool there. It ratchets into uh, place. You can let go or hold it unless you push that uh, lever. Then it will snap back. But in any case, it ratchets. And then once you get to the point where you squeeze, then it releases again once you hopefully squeezed enough. So now with uh, both of these blades, they were pushed uh, towards the plastic pretty good. And I showed this in an earlier scene, but I had to uh, delete it. So in any case, you can just kind of shuffle it around with a uh, screwdriver blade like that till you get it to the position where you like it. So now we will uh, take it and uh, test it out. And actually I had already connected it. And as you can see, Kind of struggles, but there we go. We want to get it up till the uh, plastic gets up there. So, all the way up there. So, I had some troubles. I had to kind of just keep bending it like that up and down uh, before it finally went in. But finally, it got up all the way. So, that's how far you want it. And then, to unhook it, not uh, terribly bad. Let's check uh, the resistance, actually. So, I got the uh, multimeter there. And we will plug this back in right there actually I got the wrong one let's go right here plug that one in there we go and this has the uh, shorter wire that's uh, kind of curved like that I think that's the new one that we did but in any case we'll test out uh, the resistance of it those two points there so about 0.5 ohms but kind of depends on how you hold it to 0.5 ohms that way there we go. Once I move this one, looks like I had a better uh, connection if I slid it down. And then, of course, we'll measure it in this direction, too. Right there. So about 0.5 ohms, anyways. 0.4. So, check out one of these other videos that I'm posting on uh, the screen there. Make sure you click subscribe, like, the bell, and all that. I will see you in the next video.